Could Robbie Nielsen be out of Edinburgh very soon because Hearts have lost 2-0 to St Mirren in in Edinburgh and aye it's no good down to 10 men losing two goals losing third place today and Hearts I mean we kind of thought we gave them the benefit of the doubt we said they have a great record at home against the non-old firm teams have picked up I believe it was 31 points out of 33 with their only draw coming against Livingston with like a was it a Barry Mackay late goal 97th minute or something to get that 1-1 I'm not too sure about when they picked up that point but um, for Hearts' sake today, I mean, it could have been going all right. Robert Slodgrass picks up an early booking, but they just weren't at the races. And I feel like they haven't been at the races for a while. As a wild golden retriever appears, who probably would have done a better job up front today than Lauren Shanklin. But you know what? Hearts fans will probably just be greeting that they didn't get the job done. But Snodgrass, a lot of, a lot of St Mirren fans on Twitter are saying that's payback for the dive he did. I'm assuming that they're talking about a dive he did earlier in the season. I can't remember it, right? I see... As soon as I said I can't remember it, I just imagined him going down really easy. But I can't, I don't know if it was against St Mirren or maybe he's just a diving bastard. I'm not too sure. But St Mirren, you'd maybe think they scored two goals a day that Tony Watt would be on the score sheet. Tony Watt talking about he wants to stay at St Mirren, but the club might not have the finances to keep him, so that's no good for him. But we go into the second half and Curtis Mean, two minutes after the Rolls Royce, Michael Smith gets booked, is the main guy for St Mirren. He pokes it past. And it is into the back of the net. And Hearts are 1-0 down. And before the Hearts even get a chance to breathe, they're out the windy, out the door, because O'Hara makes it 2-0. And a guy again, the main guy, find it, found O'Hara. So he gets a goal and assist. And then after this, Robert Snodgrass, I don't think he knows how to tackle. It's just a stupid, awful lunge at the ball. Gets himself sent off. And once Hearts are down to 10 men... And they're, doing, and they're getting beat 2-0. There is literally no chance for them. And, and for such a promising season, this man, at the start of it, you know, guaranteed European group stage football. They're in the Conference League. They're getting a few wins here and there. Looks like they're nailed on for third. But for like the past month and a bit, they've been absolutely abysmal. And at this rate, I mean, if, if, you, if you take a wee look at the fucking, the league standings, you know, Hearts sit, Hearts sit in fourth, right? Hibs play Dundee United tomorrow. I mean, albeit right, they're not they're not going to drop out the to, uh, the uh, the top six horse. But I see Livingston beat Motherwell today. I mean, they very easily could have. And the fact that Hibs have got a game in hand, say they beat Dundee United, it would take them up to two points behind Hearts, and then they play Hearts. I mean, Hearts. I mean, I think there's a good possibility that Hearts are going to finish with foot European football next season, whether it be guaranteed or you know in through the playoff rounds or whatever. But I mean, you, obviously with the split, the top six face each other. The way Hearts are playing, could you really back them against Hibs, St Mirren, Aberdeen? And you couldn't really back anyone realistically against the old firm. So that is what it is. But that is it, guys, for this match. A few Hearts, Crumble, Robbie Nielsen. Of course, it was spray-painted outside. I don't know if it was... Was it the training ground or the actual stadium? Uh, Nielsen out. I mean, I think that is a bit harsh. I mean, I know we've joked here on the channel about saying Nielsen out. But at the end of the day, man... He's got them firing on all cylinders, and yes, they're 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 not they're misfiring now. They're not doing a great job, but at the end of the day, I don't think they can sack Robbie Nielsen. I think he's built up a bit of credit in the bank when you look at him compared to other managers personally. But you know, I don't think third place is completely gone for them. But I mean, look, it's four fucking losses in a row, four losses in a row. Well, Aberdeen, I don't know how many Aberdeen have won in a row, but Aberdeen have really, really stepped it up. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Match a few, hearts in the mud, and uh, I am back with the SPFL Review Show on, well, probably the more after the Hibs, the Hibs in uh, Dundee United game. But until next time, peace.